Hey, let's continue with section two of beauty. So we ended up in our stance. We're going to go and do a um, left beauty, right beauty, left beauty. Okay, so let's do it without the pivoting. First, we're going to move our hand out in a beauty position while our right hand goes underneath our left elbow. Now, as this right hand goes out and replaces the left hand, the top hand slides back. Okay, so again, same thing. Left hand is sliding underneath the right arm and the other one pulls back. So if you do it consecutively, it's going to be like that. Notice that it's sliding. You can hear the sliding underneath the hands. The reason we do the sliding is so that we know where our arms are. And we get inside tight spaces so that we can slip this in between the other person's defenses. Okay, so now adding the pivoting, we're going to do a one and we're going to pivot uh, this way. Notice that here's the center line, I just dodged this punch and now I'm going to attack him at an angle. Two, I'm off the center line, I just uh, uh, dodged his attack that's going this way, and now I'm attacking in, in an angle again, and again. So we do it consecutively, it will be one, two, three. From here, we're going to drop our elbow down to our chest, open up our hand as a palm. This hand, palm is facing this way now, and now this comes back to the chest. From here, we're going to do a high palm to the chin, directly to your, uh, my right, and come back box out, just like the uh, first part, and then come back to the thumb cell, to the tooth cell, in the cell, and back to the middle. Now we're going to do your right beauty. One, two, three. Elbow drops down to here, to your chest, and palm faces that way. Your left fist is at your chest. Do a high palm, box out. Come across horizontally, thumb cell, tooth cell, thin cell, and now we're back to the beginning. Let's continue with the part B of the second section. So we're at our, in our stance, we're going to do one cell, just, just like this one, two, three. All I did was just do a wu cell and do a fox cell at the chest level. Okay, so from here, left, right, left. Now move this horizontally across and drop it down for a double one sao, I mean double wu sao. Now I'm going to pull my right fist to my chest, drop this into a fuk sao position, so this is relaxed, and I'm going to pivot left foot only, 45 degrees. And then I'm going to do a circle with my hand, circle, you see from the front it's going to be a circle, all I'm doing is So that's all my arm is doing. So my arm is not moving, it's my body that's moving. So my hand is just doing this, and my body actually moves it. So when it's doing this, my body is leading my arm. My arm is not moving. So here we go. One, two, three. Three of them. To the cell, to the cell, back. Now we'll do the right side. One, two, three. Double wu sao. One, two, three. Two sao again. Yun sao. And back. So that's section 2B. Moving on to part C, 2C, we're going to do our guan sao. One, two, three. One, two, three. So let's explain that. Let's start with just one hand. When this comes out, without the pivoting, we're going to do a rotation like this. This hand will have a forward tension and we're going to have power from the elbow. So when it comes out, it goes in the center line. When it goes down, there's a rotation. 
and comes down. And it goes up, we're going to have that rotation. So we're slicing with the rotation. So just doing one hand with the pivoting, up, down, up, down. Okay, so together with both hands, one, move the hand up first, move the hand up, move the bottom hand up. Now notice that my hands are in the middle. We don't want to be here or here because this is an actually a tap. Even though I'm coming then this way, my intention is still forward. So I'm redirecting with the rotation of the forearms while my intention is that way. My intention is still that way. Okay, up. Now notice that I move my hand up before I come down. And the reason we do that is because when you do the knife form, when you don't, if you don't move your hand up and you chop, you're going to chop yourself. So, okay, so we do the knife form. If you don't move your hand up, look, you just chop yourself. So all you do is we're going to move our hand up first, then chop. Okay, move our hand up first, then chop. If you don't move your hand up, Oh, look, you just chop yourself, so... Okay, so that's why we move our hand up first. So we go, one, move our hand up, two, three. From here, we're going to do a double busa. Our right foot pivots back to our stance. Double busa, to the south, in south, and back. So let's just do this whole section. We're going to go left, top, right, Two, double boost out to the south. Now right side. Double boost out. Circle and back. So that completes our second section of BUT. Let's do a review of section two of BUT, which starts here. We're going to go and do our uh, triple BUT. One, two, three. Palm, rock cell, thumbs up, two cell, hin cell. Okay? Right, two, three. Palm, rock cell, thumbs up, two cell, hin cell. Okay? Man cell, one, two, three. Down, one, two, three. Hin cell, hin cell. Right side, two, three. Hin cell, one, two, three. To sell, in sell, and uh, back. And the uh, last part is two, three, one, to sell, and back, one, two, three, to sell, and back. So that's the section two.